Hello everyone, I'm Cookie from Cookie.in and you're watching this review of another notebook in the GL series from ASUS. It's called the GL 552J. This notebook is available for a price tag of uh, rupees 75,000. Here is the box pack and inside the box you'll find this notebook, AC adapter, quick start guide, cable tie and power cord. This notebook has got a nice texture on the top along with the ASUS logo and this is how it looks at the bottom. Here is the battery that as per the company will give you around 3.5 hours of normal usage. This is the ASUS ROG Republic of Gamers gl 52 j Let's power on. It is running Windows 10 out of the box. When you switch on the notebook, the ROG logo on the rear side also lights up as you can see. This is the audio and the microphone jack along with the USB 3.0 port. Next to it is the DVD 8x writer. Here is the 3-in-1 card reader on the front and on the left side there is the power point, cooling vents, VGA port, HDMI port, RJ45 port. This is the RJ45 port. And there are two USB 3.0 ports on the left side. In fact, there are three USB 3.0 ports in total. Here is the speaker on the front, dual speakers. And you can also see the nice texture on the front panel. In fact, it looks really awesome when the buttons, the red color buttons light up. This notebook is powered by Intel Core i7 coupled with NVIDIA GeForce GTX 950M GPU. This is the keyboard and the screen is 15.6 inches supporting Full HD resolution that's 1080p. The viewing angles are pretty good. You can clearly see the screen from the left, right and even from the top. This keyboard comes with backlit red colored buttons and when they light up it looks really awesome especially in the dark. Here is the system information. This notebook is running Windows 10 out of the box. It's using the Intel Core i7-4750HQ GPU clocked at 2 GHz. It can be turbo boosted up to 3.5 GHz. Installed RAM is 8 GB and there is 1 TB of storage space with two partitions C drive 372 GB and D drive 558 GB. Screen resolution is Full HD and there is built-in Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. The battery is at 90%. I'm going to run the benchmark application, NOAA Bench. And uh, here is the NOAA Bench score. The score is 992. And now let's check out some real action. I'm going to play the Far Cry 4. This is a full HD screen. The graphics looks really good. Even the color reproduction is pretty good. Far Cry 4 looks really great. The gameplay is pretty smooth. Not buttery smooth, but decent enough. By default, the gaming mode has been set to Full HD resolution and I'm going to play this in this particular mode. The gameplay is smooth, but as already mentioned, it's not really buttery smooth, but uh, decent enough and I have good control of the character. I'm going to play this game for a few minutes on battery. The notebook is not connected to a power source. It is however recommended that you connect this notebook to a power source when playing games or using high-end applications because it's going to drain off a lot of battery juice. I played this game for about 30 minutes, battery dropped by 47%. So in all you can play high-end games for up to 1 hour on battery. Asus ROG Republic of Gamers is specially made for gaming users. If you are into gaming, this is a very good notebook that does come for a price. The ASUS GL552 ROG is available for a price tag of around rupees 75,000. Do visit my website for more details. The link is mentioned in the description section below.